I hope y'all remember my last video of my fish tanks, because if you do, this is the tank two days later. As you can see, it's completely cleared up. Moving on. So in today's video, we're actually going to be cleaning out this tank completely and setting it up for my shrimp. So to start with, we obviously got to pull it off. And then second off, we got to rinse it out. Put it back where it belongs, and as you can see, my shelf is quite dusty because I haven't moved in a long time. Fill it back up. This five gallon only took me around three buckets to fill up. And of course, don't forget to dechlorinize the water unless you want all of your fish or shrimp to be dead in the morning. Time to plug the filter in. And it actually took quite a while to get going, that's why this clip is sped up. And the reason it has a mesh in front of it is because it was originally used for a crayfish, and that was there to prevent him from crawling up in it. Now, I personally believe tannins like these almond leaves make any shrimp or fish happier. That's why I have it in all of my tanks, and by all of them, I mean literally all of them except for my salt water. Rocks for the shrimp to graze on and for algae and other beneficial bacteria to grow on. I'll also be filling up the filter with lava rocks. I separate the almond leaves so that way they would sink faster. They'll still probably take around a day to sink. So I ended up adding four females and one male. This is female number one. She's beautiful, has that light stripe on her back and that pretty dark coloration when she's not stressed out. This is female number two, very similar to female number one, except for a little bit darker. This is the male. He has black stripes on his back, and besides that, he's pretty light. He was actually the darkest male I had, so I'm a little disappointed about that. This is female number three, once again, dark with the light stripe on her back. You can't really see it in this clip, though. And then the last one, which is pretty light with a good dark strip on her back. I think this tank turned out pretty wonderful. Well, first off, thanks for watching to the end of the video. And second off, this is part one out of five, which I'm going to be making about breeding these shrimp. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please go check out my TikTok and Instagram, where I post high-quality footage and photos. Have a great day.